Hi, I'm back. Let's continue with the event. The event is going to end the day after tomorrow, so I think I have to be a little quicker. Chapter 4 That's the good stuff. Dorfus is mine, Lakeside. Phew, now they'll leave us alone. No more interruptions. It's time to get our fish on. Is that what they caught? Seven, eight, nine, ten fish for me. I've got eight over here. I caught thirteen. Wow, I got twenty-two. Quite a catch. I thought a little fishing and cooking would be a walk in the park. But I didn't expect to tangle with fairies. That took a lot out of me. Oh ho! I see the track clubs pulled in a real hole. Once you clean and cook this fish, your lakeside challenge will be complete. We've got a full selection of seasonings and cookware at the camp. Feel free to use whatever you like. Okay, let's head back. Actually, what are we gonna make with all this fish? I sometimes help my mom in the kitchen back home, but not enough that I know how to make anything too elaborate. How about you, Jack? Same. I can't cook fancy stuff. Pond smell tastes great when you grill it fresh, though. How does that sound? Mm. Dorfus is mine, campsite. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Totally. It's tender and flaky and perfectly seasoned. All I did was grill it with some salt. Still, I'm sure eating it with friends around the campfire makes it taste all the better. Did they also make a campfire or are they using Leonas? Yeah, give me some more. I feel bad we're taking your food. It's cool. We caught so many that we can afford to share. Come on, Idy. No need to be shy. Eat up. Oh, thank you, Deuce. So what's the plan after this, Jack? We should probably help out with the other challenges. I bet they'll need a ton of manpower in the mines. Collecting maidstones sounds good to me. I like this map, but I find it unnecessarily big for the stuff we need it for. At least so far. Chapter 5 Rudimentary in the Extreme Dorfus's Mine Interior Knock knock, guys! Ah, the record keepers. Are you checking up on our progress? Yes, sirree! Why are you just standing around? Aren't you supposed to be finding a maidstone? Yes. <laughs> That's it? But swinging our pickaxes at random won't turn up much. Especially since this mine's been closed for a while. So we're going over what we know about maidstones first. Do any of you know how to locate maidstones and mine them? We learned about this in class. Of course I remember it. In general terms, maidstones are gemstones that have been transformed by absorbing ambient magical power. You locate them by tracking the faint traces of magic they emit. However, doing so requires incredible focus typically trained professionals search for them. Since we're untrained, our detection radius is 10 meters at most. 
Nonetheless, it's better than digging around arbitrarily. Checking every centimeter of this vest tunnel would be a fool's errand. Once we've identified a general location, we can commence digging. We'll start by using the pickaxes to chip off the wall's weathered brittle outer layer. Then we'll use hammers and chisels to remove the maidstone from its rock encasement. That is all! Excellent overview, Sebek. You certainly paid close attention in class. <laughs> Riddle likes good students. <laughs> I suppose there are worse things than receiving a compliment from the head of the sophomore class. I accept your words of praise. Well, Sebek, I have to hand it to you. You always do so well in class, I should take a leaf from your book. Please, Silver, if I grace you with a leaf from my book, you'd probably just fall asleep on it. These facts are rudimentary in the extreme. I don't know about that, I don't remember any of that from class. Well, we've finished our review. Let's get to work and find a maidstone. I found one! <laughs> Why does he always scream? Yeah. Sheesh, turn down the volume, will ya? My ears are ringing. Why are you complaining? I found a fragment. Look. That's a tiny one. It's just pure dumb luck you found it. Nonetheless, it meets the size requirements. That takes care of our task. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Ha! Huh. Is that the cry of a sore loser I hear? Wait, something's approaching. More fairies? Ready yourself. I'm always ready. Yes, it is. Fairies? All the way down here. They appeared out of nowhere the moment I laid claim to this maidstone. Wait, do they want the stone? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I think you might be onto something. I don't understand what they're saying, but I can sense their hostility. Hmm. Fade though they may be. Do these minuscule mind dwellers truly think themselves a match for those of us who trained in Briar Valley? I found this mage stone and I won't allow anyone to pilfer it. Silver, let us drive these fairies away. I don't see any better options. Let's chase them off before someone gets hurt. Those translators we got from the fairy gala will come in handy now. <laughs> やる。熱くなるのは得意じゃないんだ。じっとしろよ。行くぞ。Oh my god, he attacks with the fishing pole. Gong, is that you? Chapter 6 That's what they get. Dorfus is mine, interior. Okay, we managed to chase off the fairies unscathed. That's what they get for attempting to swipe another's spoils. I expected a simple mining task, not a fairy fracas. Fracas? This turned out to be quite the ordeal. Not for me, of course. After all, I've sworn to meet Malilsis every expectation. I'm impressed, Sebek. Your motivation is strong as can be where Malils is concerned. Of course! That's just how great Malils is! Could you please stop yelling? 
This tunnel's very echoey. My ears are ringing. At any rate, we have our maidstone. Let us claim our Vargas badge. You need a ghost for that. Hee <laughs> hee, you called? Yeah! Don't sneak up on people like that. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. Greetings, ghost. We have obtained our requisite maidstone fragment. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got one alright. Here you go, one Vargas badge for the equestrian club. Victory! So that's what the badges look like. I can now report back to Maleus and Lilia with my head held high. <laughs> that sounded kinda nice. Head held high. Wanna take a commemorative photo? Why, you rather consider it. Go on then, fulfill your record keeping duties. <laughs> there ain't a tunnel big enough for this guy's ego. <laughs> Subback's kinda annoying, but it's funny, so it's okay. Now book 3. Chapter 1. That's Hardcore. A very short rest. Dorfus is mine, Lakeside. Now are we going to get the other clubs in the other places? Oh, I forgot about the basketball club. Here's some more fish. How many is that now? Actually, whatever. I'm done swimming. <laughs> Whoa! You must have caught over 50 fish! Thanks for making the rest of us look like chumps reeling in one at a time. Not to mention you caught them with your bare hands and just tossed them on land. That's hardcore. I wonder if when he transforms, the clothes transform along with him? Or does he have to take them off and put them on? Eh, it was pretty boring to me. The fish in this lake are pathetically slow. Going after small fry is a waste of my time. How can I feel that thrill of the hunt if none of the fish are worth chasing? Well hey, at least you got your lakeside challenge in the bag. Now our designated chef just needs to clean and cook them. Right, I'll handle that. Yeah, he's a good cook. We're counting on you, Jamil. Make it a meal to remember. After I snagged all those fish, you better not just take them over a fryer and call it good. Okay, sure. I can make something nice. But I'll need more than just fish if you want a full-blown meal. And it'll be your responsibility to gather the extra ingredients. Oh man. <laughs> you get what you wish for. I'm going back to camp to prep these fish. Okay, we'll head for the mines to help look for maidstones. Floyd, Ace, you're in charge of foraging for wild plants, edible ones. Fine, I guess. This better be one mouth-watering meal. Don't disappoint us now. Yes, yes, I got it. See you soon. Well, let's get to it. I'm gonna look around by the lake. You take the wood, Scrabby. Okay. Mm, I have no clue which plants are edible. I doubt I'll find much of my own. But hey, Floyd's surprisingly into this. I'm sure he'll get enough for the both of us. I have a bad feeling about this. After spending all day setting up camp and fishing, I finally got some time to myself. Nobody will notice if I'm pretending to forage, I'll just find a nice spot to chillax. 
Hmm? Did something just move in the grass? Whoa, birds! Jeez, don't scare me like that! Grim would never let me leave it down if he saw that. <laughs> More of them? F fool me once, stupid birds. It's not birds this time, right? <laughs> oh my god, the soundtrack. Wah! <laughs> What's happening? Now this part reminds me of another FGO summer event, the latest one. We were camping in the mountains and a lot of horror movie stuff was happening. Darfus is mine, Forest Road. Hmm? Thought I heard something. Oh well, what ifs? <laughs> well, Ace just died. <laughs> and no one's going to look for him. Chapter 2 The Tough Guy Act. I really like the colors of this background at night time. Camp Vargas Day 1 Evening. Dorfus is mine, campsite. I really like this shade of bluish green. The sun has officially set. Time's up. Let's see how you did. Did Ace come back or did he actually die? <laughs> when I call your club, tell me how many Vargas badges you earned. Equestrian club. We've earned all three badges. Track club. We got all three too. Basketball club. Three as well, though we admittedly squeak by. <laughs> Where's Ace? And last up, Spell Drive Club. Three, of course. Alright, looks like you made it through the day and achieved your objectives. But considering you were all working to the last minute, it was hardly a slam dunk. I'll be announcing the next challenges tomorrow morning. Be warned, you ain't seen nothing yet. Normally I'd stay to get plenty of rest so you can be fresh for the long day ahead, but... The forest fairies will be trying to put out your campfires all night. So make sure you keep watch till morning. Dismissed. <laughs> Come with me, record keepers. Huh? Where are you going? I'm staying in the cottage. You'll be setting up your tent right next to it. So you want to let us stay in the cottage with you? <laughs> What's the point? So we're camping away from the others. Aw oh man, we're sleeping near Vargas. And we gotta hike over there and rig up a tent at this hour. What a drag. No need to worry about any danger. I'll keep a watchful eye as I crush my reps. We don't need you creeping over our shoulder. How about you give us a hand instead? Hey Floyd, have you seen Ace? Krabby? Nope. What are you asking me for? You were both tasked with gathering ingredients by the lake. But only you came back. Oh yeah, he wasn't at dinner, was he? I didn't even notice. He's probably just goofing off somewhere. Sounds fun, actually. Maybe I should join him. You still got energy after all this swimming around. Well, too bad. You're not skipping out on campfire duty. Ugh. You're talking like a zoo now, Sea Snake. I'm beat. It's like I can barely keep my eyes open. Today was more strenuous than our usual practice. 
Okay, let's figure out our rotation for guarding the fire so we can hit the hay. <laughs> Are they both asleep? Or just silver? I think both of them. <laughs> Riddle! Sebek, what's the matter? I fully expect Silver to doze off, but not you. Uh, apologies. I'm partly worn out from today, but I don't normally burn the midnight oil either. Yeah, he looks like someone who goes to bed early. Then might I suggest you go rest in your tent. I'll stand guard over the campfire. Are you sure? You must be as exhausted as I am. I'm fine, truly. Roughing it is nothing new to me. Would you take Silver with you, though? His blatant snoring is infuriating. Alright, come on, Silver. Hmm? Oh, did I not off again? You did. Let's get back to our tents. Set back and take over from here. Everyone's tuckered out. You must be tired too, Apple. You should get to bed. No, no, I'm wide awake. Hey, no need for the tough guy act. We're gonna be working way harder tomorrow, remember? Mm, I'll stick it out a little longer. <laughs> if you insist, you got the heart of an athlete, don't ya? Sure wish you could share some of that with a certain guy who just ducked into his tent without a word. Who? Oh, haha. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the last one for today. Chapter 3 Gonna squeeze you later. Can Vargas Day 2? Way too early. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like morning to me. Dorfus's mine campsite. <laughs> What's going on? What? What in tarnation? Apple. What's all that racket? And why won't it stop? No idea, it just started all of a sudden. Rise and shine, boys. Time for your next challenges. Oh, it's a ghost banging on a frying pan. What time is it anyway? If the sun's not risen or shining, how come we gotta be? Good morning, everybody! And what a fine morning it is! Man, I wanna go back to sleep. Ugh, sleeping bags don't make the ground any softer. I don't feel rested at all. Shish, I knew you kids lacked muscle, but you apparently lack manners too. When I say good morning, I expect a proper response. I'll flunk anyone who doesn't give me one. Let's try this again. Good morning! Good morning, coach. Ugh, it is too early for this. Okay, here are your challenges for day two. There are three of them again. First, survival. You'll need to brew potions in case of an emergency. Go out and find a lantern blossom. They grow in the area and are used in potions to help heal cuts and scrapes faster. Lantern blossoms, they're quite rare if memory serves. This is already a more difficult task than anything we did yesterday. Second, sustenance. When catching your own food, you must also be aware of its environment. There are giant catfish in the lake that prey on the smaller fish. Catch one. Is that what they almost caught before? There's catfish in the lake? I didn't see a single one when we were fishing yesterday. 
will need a strategy to pull this off. Third, education. You need to utilize a more practical knowledge of maidstones today. Go back into the mine and get another stone. But this time, I want an even larger one. Your stones must be about 2 cubic centimeters and weigh around 7 grams. Man! <laughs> Finding one yesterday was hard enough, but now we gotta go bigger. I wanna go home. <laughs> Once again you have until sunset. Day 2 of Camp Vargas begins now. Well, they're going on on less sleep, but they have more time this time. I say we send most of our members into the forest. Lantern blossoms are exceedingly rare. Agreed. They grow in small quantities. We'll dispatch as many people as we can. All these challenges are pretty tough, but I'm thinking I'll start at the lake. Catching catfish is too hard for beginners. We've got the woods, the lake and the mines. Where should we start? Why don't we split into three groups? Freshmen can have first tips. In that case, why don't we do the one that's the toughest workout? It'll help us in the club. You actually want to work out more? You got muscles for brains or something. You want to talk. If you're so tired, why not take a little nap? Oh, his face! I'll handle everything. Unlike you, I've got energy for this. I don't think he ever made that expression. Hey, I'm not tired. I'm raring to go. Digging into rock walls was pretty taxing yesterday. Let's go with the mines. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, so sleepy. Hey, silly. Little shrimpy. Got a sec. Yeah, what's going on, you two? Have you seen Ace? He never came back to camp last night. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, this is Ace we're talking about. He's probably ditching work and hanging out in another club's tent. I got a message for Krabby if you see him. It's... I'm gonna squeeze you later. Pass it on for me, would ya? Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Well, if Ace does come back to life, he's fucked. Where's Ace got to now? Oh well, we're gonna be doing lots of rounds today. Maybe we'll run into him. This seems to be a good cutoff point, so I'm going to end today's video here. Thanks for watching, bye bye!